Hey everybody, the Bong is back. Welcome to part 2 of Let's Play Clarence's Big Chance, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, I like to go now through this door. This is your parents' bedroom. Wow, I actually had two beds in my own bedroom. Usually forbidden to little old you, but today is a special occasion, isn't it? Who knows what embarrassing secrets await within? Probably none, though. Probably that lawsuit for that broken condom that resulted in Clarence? Who knows? Oh, there's another cat. Oh, there's more money. And Mummy's on the loose again. Huh. Why is there a thug here? Oh, whoa, it appeared that some criminal type ruffians have it in their minds to burgle your poor parents' plentiful possessions. What a world, what a world. Why am I in there? Do I have to jump on him twice? Sorry, cat. Yeah, you do have to jump on him twice. And I love how the cops are shooting up my bathroom, yet there's lots of criminals in the parents' bedroom. Did they think that, you know, the parents called the police, found out that there were some criminals in their bedroom trying to steal their thing, and the cops were like, all right, go to the bathroom and shoot the walls. That's what we need to do. I feel like such a douche pilfering my parents' bedroom of all their money and stuff. Well, that's our fault for throwing pans at me! Or at just about anything that moves. Which is me! Well, I can get up here. Uh, is it really worth going this way? I suppose it is. Well, let's just go this way and not get shot, thank you. Oh, yeah, that cat was not worth it. Cat wins this time. What's in here? Ooh, there's a key. Oh, rats. No, seriously, those were rats. This is your parents' secret stash of money. Saved away for their future. That's not important, is it? You've got a girl to impress. You better grab all the dosh your sweaty sausage fingers can carry before anyone notices. Like, these rats, for instance, which are now dead. And I got another one of those keys. Alright. I wonder if they got a big house. I mean, if you got levitating money, of course you're gonna feel really posh. Alright, so I guess now we gotta go back down and hit this place on the right. Leave no money to chance! Oh yeah, I get on this. You can jump on lamps and actually walk on lamps. How are they able to support my own weight? Why am I asking for logic to make sense in such a game as this? It's supposed to be as illogical as possible as most Flash games are. I want to wait for that dog to get over here. Ah, uh, mommy cannot get through. There. How does she have that, that many pans, anyway? And where is she stashing them? In her throat? Okay, so, why don't we just go through all this? Now I have to climb all the way to the very top from the right side. Thank God I did not miss that platform. Then I have to go through all that again. Okay, I want to make a high jump, but by the same token, I did not want to get shot. You know, I like to make it my daily routine to not get shot. Unless by shot you mean immunized, then yeah, I'll get an immunization if need be. However, when it comes to bullets, no. Unless doctors can administer, like, uh, the flu shot through a gun without killing me, then that would be breakthrough technology. You won't have to wait so long for a needle to go into your arm and then get out of your arm. They'd have to pull out a bullet, but... Yeah, I guess a needle is better. She's literally everywhere at once! No kidding, and so for her pants! Wait, how do I get up here? Oh, oh, okay, I, I see how the bed. 
Fair enough. That, that makes sense now. Better get rid of all this stuff now before I go in that door. Still haven't even found my pants. What's going on? And I feel like the water droplets actually look like spit. What is going on here? Gasp! It's your father's secret horror room! And here you were thinking it was just a myth. Why are the cops shooting at the whores? And why is there a bat in here? Father's cologne. The very same bottle that your wily old man used to woo your mother back in the day. The whip of this bad boy wafting on your burly bod is sure to knock any girl's knickers off. Or attract whores that all look the same. Attracting money and cops. Look at the cabbie, she's just snorting by. Yeah, I'm just making up words. Shooting at prostitutes. What a world, just shooting at hookers for no reason. Like, what logic is there to just shoot prostitutes unless it's in self-defense? Like, why do they even fire all these bullets anyway? This is some crazy stuff going on here, and here I am, like... No wonder Clarence lived with, lives with his parents. This is a scary world. Okay, are we in the kitchen? Time to get some scrumptious nosh for your brekkie, eh? Remember, you got a date later, so you don't want to be filling up on any old rubbish. It's best to look for something at least bordering on healthy, don't you think? I don't know, I can work it off. A sloppy, fatty, greasy hamburger which will make you all the more fat and will cause your breath to absolutely reek. A healthy breakfast on date day, right? Good going, Casanova. I don't look that different. Oh, apparently the juice can hurt you. But walking on a stove doesn't. Rotten tomatoes. Of course mom will be in the kitchen. Make me a sandwich, will ya? She had to use a blender to get those coins. Oh, there's ice physics. Well, at least you got inertia down path. Why are there penguins here? What is going on? Why am I consuming the heart of a penguin? God. It's bad enough I'm just eating a hamburger. What about consuming live beating hearts? I mean, yeah, there's like lots of vitamins and actual human tissue, but that's besides the point. Meeting the heart of a bird. Can you imagine if that blender had a heart? Well, actually, we saw a lamp had one. So I can't really just question anything anymore, yet I still do. For the comedic effect. Wait a minute, am I gonna like walk into a refrigerator? Oh god. Icicles can't hurt you, you silly little waffle. What kind of man are you? Which is to say that those icicles are pointy and mean, they're really just decoration. True fact that. Huh. I thought the sign wasn't gonna lie to me. I just wanted to test that out for myself. I expected myself to be impaled through the head. Dummy. Well, I had some hamburgers, so I might as well have some oatmeal. Oh, cereal. A bowl of authentic Granny Leather Bosom's Hellos, the Prince of Lies' favorite. There's no milk on them, though. Collect some milk to eat a healthy breakfast after consuming a greasy hamburger. Well, the hamburger should be very light. It was floating. That means it's not going to make me heavier. It might actually make me lighter. Think about it. Take that, Jenny Craig. Okay, so far so good. At least I'm going to be rich. That usually makes you dateable. You have lots of money. 
Okay, so based on my location, I'll probably go back to where I started in the kitchen. Or maybe it's this spot. All look the same. So I might as well just conclude this area. Ah, I'm at half health. Okay, three quarters now. This spot there looks pretty dangerous. How is this ice not melting? Oh yeah, I would get a pan to the face at that time. Um, we might need to fix all this stuff. This is getting a little bit too Metroidvania y for my sense. For my taste. And now we're dealing with floating chickens. It's like levitating rotisserie chicken! Those don't even look like uh, drum bones anymore. Mm -mm. Three week old oven roasted milk. Just so you like it. Lumpy and slightly singed. Put it on some cereal to eat a healthy breakfast. Well, I ate a healthy breakfast after a very unhealthy appetizer. Oh, damn it. Is it just me? It doesn't look like my eyebrows actually look thicker. Okay, hopping tomatoes and a hopping eggplant. This is why I just don't trust GMO goods. They hop around and try to kill you. Pretty soon they're gonna have their own human hearts in them. Like that blender, for instance. Uh, should I go down? Ugh. Yeah, I think I should go down just for those coins. Might as well, like, how many coins are there in the entire game? 700. Well, like, got over half of them, so that's pretty impressive. Oh, I can't jump through the stove? Fair enough. Ah, I thought I was gonna clear that. Okay, there's some monies over here. Along with demon eggplants and Satan tomatoes. Very low on health again. Wait a minute. There was one spot over here you can jump through. There was another spot. Maybe a couple of them actually lead to secret passages? So I might as well just head back. Who knows, I might find something of value. Hopefully this penguin has some health for me. No, of course not. Well, I probably see myself dying eventually, so... Might as well activate these TVs while I can. Oh my god, are you serious? Oh! Don't you hate when that happens when water droplets have the power to kill you? What? No heart in this blender? Come on! What does it run on? That the stuff that's in the blender filling up, it actually does look like blood. Is this like Dracula's blender or something? This is so weird. Harry right, Mummy, do you have a heart for me? No, you don't. What happens if I drop down here? Ah, this spot. Oh, if there's another laptop, why that's here, I don't know. Maybe I should not have activated that TV. Okay, so drop down the middle one. That should take me to where I want to go. Fortunately, we gotta do a lot of this backtracking. Oh, that's just for information on my date. She doesn't want to go to parties, so she's gonna be boring anyway. Oh my god. Who stores a laptop in here, anyway? That makes no sense. 
I know if that were me, I'd want my laptop somewhere safe. Because if it wasn't safe, I wouldn't be able to have this video up, now would I? Leaks everywhere. It's almost like a leak farm. Like, seriously, you know, those vegetables, leaks? Never had any. Uh, I was taking some risks there, hoping for some health. That tomato actually saved mummy. But no one saves the tomato. Her favorite genre of film is drama. Can I just get all this information on one laptop? It'd be a lot more convenient that way. Oh yeah, there's probably nothing else over there. So I guess we're done with the kitchen. This is the living room. Didn't you leave your keys around here somewhere? Careful though, Daddy's been at the drink again. Oh yeah, he's really at the drink, all right. But he only throws like three at a time. There, I just consumed Dad's heart and ate him. Now he can't drink anymore. Cause he's dead. No, he just magically respawned. I just ate the heart of a lamp. Okay, two hearts from a lamp. Twisted family, I mean, drinking problems up the ass. Demon lamps. Eggplants of doom. Rabbit dogs that probably need to be put in a shelter. What's going on? I just ate the heart of a cat. Half the internet hates me now. That's okay, I'll just stomp on an alcoholic. That'll make him feel better. Huh. One's throwing pants, the other one is just throwing, like, pints of beer. Why is there a couch on fire, or a chair, or a flower, or a plant? Looks like someone left their cigarettes or Molotov cocktails all over the place and started a fire. Oh, well, surely it'll go out eventually, right? It's not like you don't have enough of these chair things. They're all over. Or alcoholic dads. I can probably duck under this fire, can I? Yes, I can. There we go. Duck under the pans as well. That also works. Oh, there's the keys. These keys will open the front door to your house, allowing you to begin your journey to work. Ah, damn. Oh, you didn't have a heart that time. You drank it away. Oh, one of you cats gotta have a heart. Come on, you're cats. Put away those stereotypes that you're not soulless beings. How many fathers do you have? Too many. I have a feeling Terence's mother was a regular on Jeremy Kyle. Ooh, can you imagine the name of that episode? I had sex with 5,000 men and I don't know if I'm the mother of this child! Okay, that's really out there. Is the floating chicken the father? Uh oh, looks like your parents are having a row about the cat and a roast chicken. You best stay out of this one. Or should I? Watch, aww. As soon as I was gonna say, oh, watch me not take damage, I take damage. She's a vegetarian! Well, she's definitely not coming home here. The only way I take this woman home, uh, if, if I had some rope. You know, cause she likes jump rope. She doesn't like parties, though. Welcome to the fluffy cat room. Did you know that you can jump higher? I've known this for like a long time. Okay. Oh, yes, good. Okay. 
Oh, hang on. Okay, I'm back. Let's continue on here and probably finish off this room before we deal with any more demon chickens. Oh, yeah, I gotta like, jump to this side to get those coins. Man, by the time I finish the living room, I'll have, like, over 500 coins by now. Surely that'll happen, right? Well, actually, it will happen. 501 to be exact on the platform, Clarence. And now we're back here. Okay, what is in this room? Is this the basement? Perhaps this is your rarely used basement. All you find down here are boxes of old stuff. Or perhaps there's something amongst them you can use to impress your lady friend? You never know. Since you never educated... Since you were never educated, you know. Okay, I think I'll stop the video right here, and in the next episode, we're heading to the basement. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.